that's one of the that's one of the things dude recently your channel's been like killing it and obviously it has been I, it's, i've been wondering why it, it, it hasn't popped off the way that it currently has but it's, it's just i think like I, I i don't know there's like people that can cover a topic and then there's people that can like cover a topic you know and, with like impartialness you know what i mean like you can you can go from covering again andrew tate all the way to like the the pedos of minecraft the creeps and oh, yeah. is there really such a difference though when you think about it who knows between andrew tate and a bunch of minecraft gens i don't know I have to ask the there's a lot Time of overlap tell. i'd say Oh. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the the reason why it's been doing so well recently is I finally gave in to the meta of uh, long videos uh, doing well on YouTube. So yeah. <laughs> I realized that literally every other channel that does what I do, like Jay Aubrey, The Right Opinion, their videos are all like 40 minutes to an hour long. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to bite the bullet. I'll do it. And as soon as I did that, I did like three like 40 minute videos in a row. And then I got like 30K subs that month, like mm -hmm. like you know, best month I've ever made in terms of revenue. It just keeps going that way. So that's really, uh, if you're trying to make it in the commentary space these days, boys and girls, get those videos over 35 minutes. That's uh, that's how it went for me. Like even the, even the videos that are really successful, like we did the lightweight stuff and I, I was expecting that video to completely fail. And I guess compared to like other content, it usually does. Like if I compare it to like, you know, other videos that I'd make and it did really well. It did, it did well enough where like, I guess some people took it like incredibly seriously. Like I was really, really nice on it. I was like, man, I mean, I could just make the comparisons to Tanacon all I want. And then it started some drama for like a day or two. But after that, it like died down. But yeah, you're right. Like a 40 minute video, that's so much better than like a 10 minute, 50 minute video. Yeah. And but the revenue, the revenue in my experience is like three, four times what it would be otherwise. And like um, uh, the, the effort for me making a 20 minute video versus like a 35 minute video is not that great. So it's like, you know, yeah, it's I, worth, I, it. I it's worth it. it. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm, I've been working on, I'm trying to find a way to add more like analytical research-based content to my like game shows and stuff on my main channel and I, I have the script written for one so that's really cool and yes it's i'm trying to make it like a really long video <laughs> mm -hmm. how long are we talking here it's we're talking like, like four an and a half hours probably like an hour it's not okay, hour. it's not nikocado avocado size you're such a i get dick, it because he's so big <laughs> Yeah, you didn't no, say length. You had to say size. I was talking about. One. I was talking about the length of the right opinions video. Obviously, why would you have to make it about weight, Caleb? Well, I was I was watching some Nico Cotto recently because I just had to get that like itch out of my system. You know, every every like month or two, I like come back to him, and it's just like, dude, he's. A, I I don't understand the fun part about the mukbang. It's like usually it's like, aren't you supposed to be eating different? Shit? Every time I go there, it's like instant noodle mix, instant noodle, spicy. Yeah, noodle, it's red like, or blue or some shit yeah. like that. Like, and it, yeah. and it, it, he'll like eat like green tackies and it's just like god damn dude it's just like the thumbnail is revolting me away like i'm not gonna click on that but i usually end up doing it because like there's like the a whole TikTok, lore to it tiktok recipes you know it's like eating four million tackies that are also pink oh god yeah yeah, yeah i he, still he haven't got my pink sauce by the way That's charlie funny. got it he did so yeah he ended up getting the pink sauce tom did you hear about the pink sauce the pink sauce? Yeah. You what is this? The pink sauce? No. Okay, so, so on just, TikTok, that's a new there's this... currency, my friend. So, so on TikTok, there's this chef known as Chef Pie. And so she made her own um, f uh, honey, like, she, I'm sorry, honey. She made her own, like, pink sauce, like her own little condiment, which I guess is, like, ranch with, like, pink food coloring or some shit. We, we like, went over it. She, like, literally is making this in her house. She's using, like, things that can go bad in heat, like milk and honey, and she's just, like, shipping it off whenever she feels like in the it's mail like the most, like, yeah it's like <laughs> the smart. most like yeah and, and i don't know if like well actually isn't she though because she hasn't been like busted for it like i think it's going to take one lawsuit well, before it happens so one of the things that's like it, there's there's another thing that's called cottage laws that are that are very boring but like if you sell direct to consumer there's no storefront you're pretty much safe with liability with a lot of that kind of stuff like if you say it's if you don't say specifically certain things you should be fine i'm not sure she's in california maybe no she's in florida oh yeah she definitely has co cottage laws she pr i don't think yeah. she'll get sued then they don't give a fuck in florida desantis yeah, yeah, yeah. desantis gives gives none yeah yeah no, no f at all no. he specifically passed bills allowing people to send he was like you need to be able to send your pink <laughs> sauce over tiktok yeah, exactly that was you need that to was, be able that was to first export. before immigration yeah, yeah. <laughs> when he was running